Jacob, also known as Israel, is one of the central figures of the Hebrew Bible. He is the son of Isaac and the grandson of Abraham, and he plays a pivotal role in the formation of the nation of Israel. The story of Jacob begins with his birth and extends to his twelve sons, who become the progenitors of the twelve tribes of Israel. This paper will provide a comprehensive overview of the life of Jacob, from his birth to the birth of his twelve sons, examining the key events that shaped his life and his legacy. The story of Jacob begins with his birth, which is recorded in Genesis 25 19-28. Jacob was born to Isaac and Rebekah, his wife, after years of childlessness. According to the Bible, Jacob was born holding onto the heel of his twin brother, Esau, who was the firstborn. This event foreshadows the rivalry between Jacob and Esau that will play out throughout their lives. The rivalry between Jacob and Esau begins at birth and continues throughout their lives. Esau is portrayed as a rugged outdoorsman, while Jacob is a more contemplative and crafty individual. When Esau comes in from the field one day, he is hungry and asks Jacob for some of the stew that he is cooking. Jacob agrees to give Esau the stew, but only in exchange for his birthright. Esau, who is hungry and not thinking clearly, agrees to the deal, thus forfeiting his birthright as the firstborn son. Later, when Isaac is old and blind, he intends to bestow his blessing on Esau. However, Jacob and Rebekah conspire to deceive Isaac into giving the blessing to Jacob instead. Jacob disguises himself as Esau and brings his father the food that he has prepared. Isaac is fooled by the ruse and gives the blessing to Jacob. When Esau returns from the field and discovers what has happened, he is furious and vows to kill Jacob. Jacob is forced to flee for his life and goes to live with his uncle, Laban. Jacob goes to live with Laban, who is his mother's brother. While there, he falls in love with Laban's younger daughter, Rachel, and agrees to work for Laban for seven years in exchange for her hand in marriage. However, on the night of the wedding, Laban tricks Jacob and gives him Leah, Rachel's older sister, instead. Jacob is forced to work for Laban for another seven years in order to marry Rachel as well. During his time with Laban, Jacob becomes a wealthy man. He has a large family and acquires many flocks of sheep and goats. However, he also experiences many difficulties with Laban. Laban changes Jacob's wages ten times and tries to cheat him out of his rightful share of the flocks. Eventually, Jacob decides to leave and return to his homeland. Before returning to his homeland, Jacob has a confrontation with a mysterious figure whom he wrestles with all night. This figure is later identified as an angel of God. The wrestling match leaves Jacob with a limp, but it also marks a turning point in his life. He receives a new name, Israel, which means one who struggles with God. This name reflects Jacob's transformation from a deceitful, conniving individual to a man who wrestles with God and seeks his blessings. Upon his return to his homeland, Jacob sends gifts to Esau in an attempt to reconcile with him. Esau, who is initially angry at Jacob, is moved by the gifts and forgives him. The two brothers are reconciled, and Jacob is able to settle in the land of Canaan. Jacob and his family settled in Canaan after he had reconciled with his twin brother Esau, whom he had previously tricked out of his birthright and blessing. Jacob bought land in Shechem and erected an altar to God there. His daughter Dinah was then raped by a Canaanite prince, and her brothers Simeon and Levi took revenge by killing all the men in the city. Jacob then traveled to Bethel, where God appeared to him and reaffirmed his covenant with him. He then had more children, including Joseph, who was sold into slavery in Egypt by his jealous brothers. Eventually, Jacob's entire family moved to Egypt to escape a famine, where they would eventually become enslaved and later be led out of Egypt by Moses. The End In the next chapter I am going to bring you, Why Israel Go to Slave in Egypt If you and enjoy the content this story please subscribe to this channel and like it to motivate me.